Hello and welcome. Welcome to Reimagine Life Phase 2. Uh, today on uh, day 23, we will focus on detoxification of your thought and the importance of the process. Scientists say that we have at least 60,000 thoughts a day. And um, the question is, are they empowering you or disempowering you? What are some of your repeating thought process? Are they about success, love, happiness, and joy? Or are they about past events that happened and things that you wish to forget or things that you regret? Now, are they about dreaming your future and possibilities and new options? Or they are, are they about um, you know, mental videos of old simulations and things that you do not wish to experience anymore? And it's interesting that, um, and there is no exception, everybody does that, all humans uh, do that. You know, when we experience something that causes us disharmony or any kind of hard feelings, even if that happened 20 years ago, you know, we keep running those scenarios in our brain time to time. Or sometimes some events happen and we repeatedly keep running them. Now let's review what happened that particular day and what should have happened. Now what could have happened? This shouldn't have happened. We constantly focus on the what if scenarios. And you know, when some of these uh, thoughts or feelings are deep inside us and they become suppressed patterns, our organs hurt, our organs experience disharmony. We experience disharmony. Our neurons are firing and connecting with different information. So today, uh, we will go through a process to begin to remap some of the firing of the neurons. Now it's a scientific term when neurons fire, meaning when you have thoughts, when you're doing some things or when you're um, uh, going through certain activities, you know, they light up, you know, they uh, connect with other neurons, you know, they um, do their work basically. They go through all these uh, neural network, uh, all these neural network pulses going uh, through your system, you know, uh, help you to um, accomplish different things, help you to send messages, um, uh, receive messages and more. So if, let's say, 100,000 neurons are firing about certain topics or certain ideas or visions or events. And if 70,000 of those neuron firing are not necessarily beneficial for you, then the result is uh, not empowering for you. On the other hand, if 60,000 out of the 100,000 neurons firing are more about success, prosperity, happiness, then it's easier to create the success. So we can um, either glide through some of these um, processes and energies to create more success in all areas, or we can swim against the currents. Now that's what we do when we constantly go through non-beneficial thoughts. So today I will give you a process and in, in some future time, I may expand on it and go much deeper um, with uh, larger topics and um, more, uh, you know, bringing in more uh, information and processing to help you uh, remap some of these events. But for today's exploration, uh, let's do this. Now think about a particular uh, issue that pops up over and over again. It could be one event, or it could be an idea, or it could be some what if scenario that keeps bothering you. You know, what if I didn't do it that way? My life would be different. What if I didn't make that choice? My life would be different. Imagine that event or that idea is in a sphere. And we'll just make up this process. 
and imagine all the neurons are firing and connecting with that sphere. Okay, so you know what this looks like. It's almost like a whole bunch of neuron USB uh, um, cords getting plugged into that sphere. And then your body uh, is responding to those sensations and you are remembering all the details about the event and you keep running through the same scenario. What happens? Then you vibrationally resonate with that information and then you attract more of those energies. So instead, uh, let's focus on reconstructing a different scenario. What would you have loved to experience instead? Imagine that scenario is inside um, maybe a rainbow sphere. So what we will do is as you are going through the process, when I ask you to replace, then we will bring in the rainbow sphere and superimpose that on top of the other sphere that's causing you disharmony. Let's think about that. Uh, maybe as a gray sphere. Uh, so we will replace the gray sphere with the rainbow sphere. And the rainbow sphere will have the ideal scenario. Then imagine anytime you are having those thoughts, and this needs to be a conscious practice for the next few weeks and the next few months. Whenever you have that thought or similar thought, immediately think about the rainbow sphere, then what you'll be doing is when your neurons are firing and connecting with those events, uh, you will redirect them to connect with the rainbow sphere. The actual science and biology is a little different, but we are using a process to redirect in a particular way. So the results will be actually the same. Okay. So we will replace the old gray sphere that's not beneficial and replace it with a rainbow sphere that's beneficial. Throughout the day and over the next few months and weeks, whenever you notice a non-beneficial thoughts popping up or you're going into running uh, video simulations in your mind that connect you physically, mentally, emotionally, where things happen or things that you're afraid of. Now we will look at these energies and immediately you can run the rings of harmony to flush them out. Then think about the rainbow sphere. Imagine placing that in your brain. So your brain has the rainbow sphere and all the neurons are firing and connecting with it. That sphere has the ultimate vision of that particular event. It could be any event. So neurons are firing and connecting with that energy. And imagine that energy circulating through your brain and through your body. Now, uh, the process can sound maybe a little complicated, but it's a very simple process when you start to do that. Now, the um, summary is the old event that causes you disharmony and these old thoughts and feelings popping up. So that's inside the gray sphere. Now your neurons are firing and popping up and plugging into the gray sphere. We will replace the gray sphere with the rainbow sphere, which has the ultimate scenario, what you would have experienced uh, you know, if things were perfect. Okay, so uh, in our mind and body, there is no difference in how uh, we respond to information, whether it's a make-believe thing or whether it's something that we actually in, uh, experienced, you know, there is no difference. Scientists have plugged people into scenarios, you know, athletes and others, whether they win the game in the mind or whether they recall an event that happened, you know, exactly the same neurons fire in the exact same sequence in the exact same manner, all the readings are the same. They have been doing this type of texting for many, many decades. Okay. So uh, when you begin to run this very simple process, you know, it becomes simpler as you practice. So when you begin to run it, 
you will begin to redirect the firing of your neuron to the new event. Then when you think about a particular event uh, of similar type, a lot more neurons connect to the rainbow sphere and keep running that rainbow energy uh, from the rainbow sphere through you whenever you have those thoughts. Okay, so it's a process of detoxifying your thoughts so you can replace some of the non-beneficial energies with something that you can call it as an ideal, ideal scenario. Yeah. So let's play with our journey and processing today. Gently close your eyes. Focus on your heart. And begin to breathe in and out. Allow spiraling earth energies to come up through your lower chakras and your feet for grounding. Allow the rays of the sun to come down through your higher chakras and your crown. You are inside a vortex between the earth and the sun. Allow the energies to gradually get stronger for you. Let's now pick an issue or topic or experience or a what if scenario that continues to run through your mind and it's not empowering. It's causing you disharmony. It makes you agitated or angry or judgmental or maybe afraid. All those energies cause disharmony in your immune system and for your whole body. Allow the event to be surrounded by a gray sphere. Through the gray sphere, you can still see the event inside it. Notice your sensations about it. I will run the rings of harmony for you and the event. Imagine dirty water coming out of you at full force, going into a recycling bin.
Notice your sensations again. Notice how the energy changed in just a few seconds after running the Rings of Harmony. What would be a magical scenario about that event? What would you have rather experienced? Or if it's about a what if scenario that pop up that didn't happen yet, what would you love to experience? What would be an empowering scenario? Just think about that one thing, one event. Notice the energy of the rainbow sphere. Let's bring that rainbow sphere and place it on top of the gray sphere. Notice the old scenario and the old event is being replaced by the event inside the rainbow sphere. Notice the energies from the rainbow sphere spiraling through your neural network and through your whole body. Begin to think about the rainbow sphere and think about the idea or event inside the rainbow sphere. Notice your neurons connecting with the rainbow sphere. The old event is dissolving and getting flushed out of your system. Notice your sensations.
Notice your inner peace. When more of your neurons will be redirected and they will connect with the rainbow sphere, you will experience a stronger sense of harmony inside you. Continue to focus on running the vortex energies through you throughout the day. Let's breathe in and out deeply and gently a few more times. Let's come back to your present moment. Rub your hands together and gently open your eyes. Welcome back. That was a very uh, simple and a powerful process. Moving forward, anytime you have thoughts about the things inside the gray sphere, immediately switch your focus into the rainbow sphere. You don't have to finish the old story. We get caught up in that. What actually should have happened is that then we are back in that old reality and you will create a vibrational resonance with all the things that you don't desire. Instead, you don't need to complete the story and go into it. Immediately connect with the rainbow sphere. Think about the rainbow vortex from the sphere spiraling through you. Throughout the day, repeatedly connect with the rainbow sphere. That, oh, remember that event and connect with the rainbow sphere. When you keep doing that intentionally, pulling that new memory up, you know, it's a memory now. You know, whatever you do is a memory, whether it happened or it's a simulation or it's a possibility, it doesn't matter. All of these exist in the hologram in the same way. So when you are bringing in this new memory and replacing the old one, and you are creating a stronger resonance with it, and you keep rethinking about this new rainbow sphere and running the vortex you know, uh, through you, you will map and connect more and more and more of your neurons firing to this new event. Yet they will fire and connect with you or connect with this event. So that's what you want. So um, throughout the day and in the next few days, keep doing that, keep running through the scenario of the rainbow sphere and begin to replace the old sphere with the new one. Anytime the old one pops up, again, replace it with the new one and keep redirecting your thoughts into the new sphere. That way we can begin a detoxification of our thoughts around a particular event. Okay, so let's play with the energies and uh, notice your sensations and um, now continue to run some of the holographic tools and play with the energies throughout the day. Take care.